So then guys, we just had the announcement of the brand new Mac Mini with an M4 and M4 Pro inside of it. And we've also got a brand new design for it too. But how does this new Mac Mini compare with an M4 to the M2 Mac Mini that we previously had? Well, today I'm gonna do it for you. I'm going to do an M4 Mac Mini versus the M2 Mac Mini in a review of specs and details. And with that, let's get started right away. So then, as you can see right here, we have the M4 Mac Mini, the brand new one on the left, and then we have the older one on the right. And let's get started first of all with the actual dimensions. So the new Mac Mini with the M4 is a brand new design, and it looks like a sort of slim down version of the Mac Studio, and we've got all the dimensions here. So the new Mac Mini M4 height is five centimeters, and then its width and its depth is 12.7 centimeters. So really in conclusion, what we're talking about here, we're talking about two inches tall and then five by five inches here for the Mac Mini M4, whereas the previous generation, the height was thinner, I will give you that, but obviously it had a bigger footprint by about 50% or so. So its width was 19.7 centimeters and the depth was 19.7 centimeters. So we are definitely getting a smaller factor Mac Mini here with the M4. And then moving on to the weight, this is where we're seeing an incredible difference here. The new Mac Mini is only 0.67 kilograms. That is super light for a mini PC. That's really, really light and amazing to see. Whereas the older generation, that just under 1.2 kilograms, so 1.18 kilograms. We're talking like half the weight of the Mac Mini M2, this new one is. What's well, absolutely incredible to see here. But then moving on, another big question you guys are probably wanting to know is what about supported monitors? How many monitors can you plug in? Well, the good news is the Mac Mini with the M4, you can actually plug one cable straight into the HDMI port on the rear, and then you can also connect up two USB-C uh, monitors at the same time, but obviously this would only display at say 60 hertz. You couldn't go all the way up to 8K on all three of these monitors at the same time, but you can plug in just one single 8K monitor, what is really, really good to know with this. But obviously there's lots of different variants on Apple's websites and what you could do here, but the maximum you could do is three monitors. Whereas the Mac Mini M2, you could only plug in two monitors, one into the HDMI and one on the one of the USB-C ports on the rear. But the big Thing that you guys probably want to know is obviously the power of the Mac Mini with the M4 to the M2. Well, the great news is we've got that full fat Apple M4 10 core GPU and also the 10 core GPU inside of this. And there's lots of different configurations, what you can pick from with this, where you can actually have more RAM, more storage, what we'll talk about in a moment. But the Mac Mini M2, well, that has the standard eight core CPU and the 10 core GPU. The main differences I would say is that with the M4, what we've actually got there with the CPU, we've got six efficiency cores and four performance cores. Whereas with the M2, well, obviously that is different to what we have there. We have less cores inside of that. And just in case though you want to know what this means in benchmarks for Geekbench 6 scores, well, we already know what the M4 can give us, like in the iPad Pro, and this can give us a multi-core score of around about 15,288, which super impresses, whereas the Mac Mini M2, it was 9,814. We're talking over 50% better performance here in just CPU power alone, what's really impressive to see here. But then moving on, we've also got some changes in RAM amounts. At last with the Mac Mini, the base amount of storage is 16 gigabytes for the M4, and you can choose 16, 24, or 64 gigabytes of RAM, whereas the Mac Mini, you could only have eight gigabytes as the base, but you could pick 16, and you could also pick 24 gigabytes of RAM. For storage, not much has changed here with the M4 to the M2, and that means it starts at 256 gigabytes of storage, but you can configure this up to two terabytes, and this is on both of the machines, so you could do this with the Mac Mini M2 as well. But then for ports, things have changed here quite a bit. So now with the Mac Mini M4, we actually have 
five times USB-C ports, that are Thunderbolt ports here, also an HDMI and also the Ethernet port too. Whereas the Mac Mini M2 actually had a few more USB ports on it. So you could actually choose up to four times USB-C ports, but you also automatically got two USB-A ports. So, you know, those USB-A ports are completely scrapped now on the Mac Mini M4, but you did also get HDMI and Ethernet too. But obviously there were no ports sitting on the actual front of this Mac Mini. But then moving on to the actual operating system, both of them run Mac OS Sequoia here with no problems whatsoever. And both of them can also run the latest and greatest Mac OS Sequoia or, you know, 15.1 version, what has Apple intelligence built in. So you can use all those goodies there, what Apple are providing. And obviously more Apple intelligence bits and pieces are gonna drop without throughout the next year or so. So that's really good to hear too. For speakers, both of them have a basic speaker inside of them. So I'm not really going into detail here. Really you should plug in some external speakers or speakers on your monitors or something like this. But for Wi-Fi with the Mac Mini M4, we have Wi-Fi 7 built in, what's really good to see. And the Mac Mini M2 though, that does still have Wi-Fi 6E into it. So yeah, still quite good. But obviously we do have the newer standard here on the Mac Mini M4. For Bluetooth technology, well, both of them have the exact same technology inside of them. They have Bluetooth 5.3, so there's no differences here whatsoever. And then for the price, what is really shocking to see is Apple have retained the same price even though they've got a brand new design at 599 US dollars. And this would give you the 256 gigabyte option and also 16 gigabytes of RAM in the Mac Mini M4. Whereas the Mac Mini M2, you know, up to yesterday for 599 US dollars would give you 256 gigabytes of storage and only eight gigabytes of RAM. So this is really great to see that obviously this is how much it costs. It's the exact same pricing here. But for colors though, last of all, they're both silver. There has been no changes here whatsoever so unfortunately there's no space black or anything like that just one color option going forwards and with that will you be buying yourself a new mac mini and there we have it guys that is the new mac mini and i for one i'm super excited about it i cannot believe its form factor and also its weight and also we're getting the power of the m4 inside of it i for one cannot wait to get my hands on one and test it out for you guys but obviously the m2 mac mini is still a great machine you know it's a design we've had for many years but you know it's time to retire it now and at last apple have updated the design for it but what are your thoughts thoughts on the new M4 Mac Mini. Are you going to get yourself one or maybe a different Mac? Let me know in the comments below. And also at the same time, guys, it's time to wrap up this video. So if you have enjoyed watching it, please do press the like button. And also if you want to hear the latest Apple news, reviews and comparisons, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time, guys, I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.